guys have been asking me to check out some cheap keyboards on either AliExpress or eBay, saying that they were really good value for money. So recently I decided to buy three of these keyboards and put them to the test and see if they're worth your money. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. This is Brian the Yes Man coming to you guys today with a video on cheap mechanical keyboards off eBay. Now the first contender we have up here is the eBlue K753. I picked this up for 25 US dollars shipped to my door. So incredibly cheap and it features blue switches which is from a brand called JWH. Very weird brand, never heard of the switches before. And then the next contender we have up here is the S100. This features brown switches and the switches are designed from a company called Longhua. Again, never heard of this brand before and it features unique keycaps because I wanted to try something a little bit different for my money. And then the last contender we have up here is the Zero. This features switches from a company called CA. So all these switches in these keyboards today, never heard of them before. Though the first keyboard we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about is the eBlue K753, which comes in at $25. And from what I've seen, the prices can fluctuate between $25 to $35. And now this is a full 104 keyed keyboard with the numpad on the end. And why I'm going to be recommending this keyboard is that it is so consistent. I was shocked at not only how consistent the actuation was on the keys themselves, but also how thick the ABS keycaps were for a $25 keyboard. The blue switches are from a company called JWH, whom I've never heard of before, but they did the job and did so very well, never missing a stroke and only actuating after the double feedback on the blue switch was realized. The backlighting was a rainbow-like effect and had a different color of LEDs through each row, which when coupled with the translucent keycaps, allowed seeing letters and numbers at night very easy. The keyboard also had four different levels of brightness and had different hardware controlled mode lighting effects. And the anti-ghosting effect proved to be okay when I did my full Yes Man spam test. When pulling off the keycaps, the keys themselves had support on both left and right sides of the switches, which I believed helped with the rigidity of the key too. Overall, very impressed with this keyboard and easily one of the best blue switch keyboards I have typed on. So not only is it a bargain, but it is a quality product in itself. It even came with a braided cable and keycap puller on the rear of the keyboard. Though the only drawback to the eBlue itself was the switches being used, and that's the blue switches, which will be very loud, so if you need a quiet switch, then you might want to avoid this keyboard. The next keyboard we have up here is the brown switched S100, which is a 10 keyless design and costs $36 delivered to my door. I also opted to try out the new keycaps, which were a little bit funky, but honestly were probably not for everyday typing. The brown switches, which have one level of feedback, were from a company called Longhua. Again, never heard of it, but in practice, this worked quite well. And when typing, I noticed that the keys were pretty consistent, not as good as the blues, but still pretty solid. They were sometimes actuating and missing the click after actuating, but when they were pressed more than two thirds of the way down, they never missed a beat. Also, the anti-ghosting effects worked as intended too, and after the infamous Yes Man spam test, it again never missed a stroke. The S100 also comes with white LED backlighting, which has three different levels of brightness and also has different lighting effects. Though not too shabby in practice and certainly not for the money though, I found the S100's implementation of the brown switches were not as good as the original Cherry MX Browns. So with this keyboard, really what you're getting is a mediocre keyboard at a budget price. And now the last keyboard we have up here is by far the worst. This is the Zero, which came in at 35 USD posted to my door. It is a 10 keyless design with red switches from a company called CA. Never heard of the company, and honestly after this, never wish I did as this was the loosest red switch I have ever typed on in my life. Typos were plenty abound, and to top that off, the keycaps were the cheapest and thinnest ABS caps I have ever seen in my life, which just made the keys feel like you were typing on cloud nine, minus the nine, so cloud zero. The backlighting was a rainbow-like effect with translucent keycaps that had three different levels of brightness and had different hardware-controlled effects and modes. Actuation was a little inconsistent, and the keys had the most flex out of any keyboard I have around my house. 
The last kinder surprise, again minus the kinder, was the fact that the zero couldn't survive the yes man spam test, missing keys regularly during the test. So for $35, in my opinion, the zero is not even worth that. So in conclusion, to sum up these three keyboards, the zero, well, that lived up to its name, scoring a well-deserved zero. The S100, that was pretty mediocre and in my opinion would be more suited to someone looking for more of a fashion accessory that's decent for typing or for traveling as all the keyboards here today were pretty lightweight, coming in around 600 to 750 grams in total, with the eBlue being the heaviest at around about 750 grams. Though the star of the show was that eBlue K753, which really punched above its weight. It's a full 104 mechanical keyed keyboard and has a really nice feel to it, and the switches and keycaps were really consistent. This is the only keyboard of the group that I can properly recommend. And also, if you are looking for a cheap wrist rest, then AliExpress does have these $4 wrist rests that work really well in practice. So if you're looking for a budget keyboard, to type on 24 seven and also game on, then the K753 plus the wrist rest definitely gets the victory out of today's video. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out for now, bye. Just now do something, do something, whatever, do whatever. So dad man, do you want to try three keyboards today and then tell everyone which one do you think is the best? Yes, I'd like to do that. Okay, keyboard number one, just press a few buttons. Okay, yeah. Yep. Keyboard number two. Yep. Keyboard number three. Right. Okay, so which one did you like the best? I like keyboard number three, simply because you don't have to be a weightlifter to lift it, and you've got the springboard effect. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs>